There's been a lot of talk about the new Galaxy Note 4 and its plethora of features, but no one has discussed its slow motion recording ability which I personally have been dying to hear about. Well, I had a chance to play with the Galaxy Note 4 at Best Buy today and test out the ultra slow motion recording, as well as take a couple of 16 megapixel photos and 4K videos. Just a heads up, this is not a video to highlight how good or bad the camera is because of my limited time with it. This is just a quick look and some information that we haven't been given yet. You should also know that I did not color grade or apply any effects to the videos or photos you'll see. These are the files exactly as they came off of the phone. I am, however, downscaling the 4K video to 1080p. If you want to see the raw 4K videos, let me know in the comments below and I'll post them separately on my channel or provide a download link. Alright, let's get started. Here's a quick recording of me tossing up my phone while recording at 240 frames per second. But before we get into anything technical, I first want to point something out here. What the heck am I looking at? My eyes are a solid foot above the phone. Not to mention I suddenly look entirely panicked like I just realized I was throwing an expensive smartphone into the air like a cheap toy. Alright, now that I've pointed out how creepy and terrified I look, let's get to the technical stuff. As you can see, the resolution isn't terribly great and the playback seems a bit choppy. I looked at the metadata for this video and sure enough, it's a 120 frame per second recording that's played back at 15 frames per second. That's just fast enough to look sort of smooth, but still have some obvious choppiness. The choppiness becomes even more apparent when we take a look at a 120 frame per second video that I also recorded. Same deal here. I toss my phone up towards the ceiling with hopes that I don't also end up doing a drop test on it. Here, you can see that the choppiness is gone. That's because this is the same footage as the 240 frame per second video, but played back at twice the frame rate. To drive the point home, let's take a look at the 240 frame per second video again, but with the playback sped up to 30 frames per second. Looks very similar to the 120 frame per second recording, doesn't it? So unfortunately, the ultra slow motion mode is just recording at 120 frames per second, then playing the video back at 15 frames per second to simulate 240 frames per second, just like the Note 3 did. You should also know that the slow motion recording modes did not record any sound. I don't know if there's an option to turn the sound on or not, but I'll update the description when I figure that out for sure. I'm not positive yet as to whether the Note 4 is recording natively at 720p or recording at 360p and upscaling to 720p for its ultra slow motion mode. But when I figure it out, I'll put that information in the description too. Since I had a bit more time with the Note 4, I decided to take some 16 megapixel pictures as well as some 4K video for you guys. We'll start with the 16 megapixel picture I took. I'm surprised to see how pixelated it looks. Oh, wait, nope, that's just a 1,700% crop. There we go. As you can see, the picture quality is phenomenal. This picture was taken by opening the camera app, aiming, and shooting on auto mode. The lighting in Best Buy is pretty good, but I'm eager to see how well this camera does on bright and sunny days outside. For comparison, Here's the same photo taken with my Galaxy S3's 8 megapixel snapper while resting the phone on something, focusing, then taking the photo. If we zoom in to match the Note 4's picture, we can see that everything gets very pixelated. The blue text is now impossible to read, and the black text is very blurry. Just to refresh your memory, here's the Note 4's photo again. Now the Galaxy S3's photo. Galaxy Note 4, and a side-by-side -side comparison. That's a pretty amazing jump going from 8 megapixels to 16 megapixels. However, before everyone jumps in the comments and starts bashing the iPhone 6's 8 megapixel camera, there is something to be said about pixel quality and any image processing done by the phone after the picture is taken. But don't worry, I'll be doing a similar test to compare the Note 4's camera to the iPhone 6's camera at a later date on my new channel which I'll be starting up soon. Lastly, I have a couple 4K videos for you. But before I play the videos, I wanted to point out one thing. Even the 4K 30 frame per second video is more clear when zoomed in than the 8 megapixel camera on my Galaxy S3. I am very impressed by this. But it does make sense when you see that 4K is recording at 3840 by 2160 versus the 8 megapixel image which is 3264 by 2448. Anyway, time for the video. The thought behind these videos was to 1. not be a creep and film random people and 2. See how well the autofocus works on close objects. I'm also pleased to note that the 4K video isn't stuttering like I've seen on some other phones, at least not while I'm viewing it in Premiere Pro on my Hexacore CPU and GTX 770 GPU. That may change when I post it on YouTube though. This was just a quick look at the Galaxy Note 4 camera. I'm hoping to get my hands on the Note 4 and an iPhone 6 Plus to do some camera comparison videos at a later date, so stay tuned for that. So what do you guys think? 
Is the lack of iPhone-like slow motion recording a big disappointment? Or do you think the Note 4 more than makes up for it with its 16 megapixel camera, 4K recording, and plethora of other features? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.